Hello there fellow Chainlings of the Chaining Army. I'm the Gaming Chainsling Orstorm. Welcome back to Bloodstain Ritual of the Night. Now I was looking up some stuff to do with luck. Apparently if I want to actually do stuff like this, I need to actually do some uh, uh, the graveyard quest which is basically each of the different items and at the end of it I get something known as Solomon's Wing. How many waystones do I have? Now I'm going to use a waystone because I need to go back to the Donchet Cathedral because there were some things there. <laughs> On top of that, I also need to go back here anyway. Because I need to uh, get some new equipment. What are we transmuting this time? I mean the uh main goose. Go with this. I'll go with this. A new weapon he get some new weapons. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. Hmm. I'll go with this. Ooh, the flame. Oh, that would actually be really good to actually have. It doesn't affect my luck at all. Good. Let's see nothing new there. And I guess I can also this. enhance my sides. Now, then, I actually don't actually know what the max uh, is going to have in terms of health. But keep in mind one thing, um, there are in a sense two different uh, endings you can get. And I decided to pull an order of Ecclesia on you. Now, you may be playing Order of Ecclesia as I speak, but what I mean by that is basically at the end of the game, you have to make certain that... Oh. So... Let's see. Yeah, so I got some pretty good stuff here and there. Hey, what did I want it to put on? Oh yeah, the uh... Flame stuff there, the flame mail. Yeah. Oh, and I wanted to go back to the galleon, didn't I? Because I wasn't done with the galleon yet. And I can't do anything with you as of yet because I need to get the uh, silver tie out. Silver tie. Tierra. That that's how you say the darn name. Ah. Yeah, I'm bad at words. At least certain words here and there. I am really, really bad with it. Right, now we're back here. And back here, we get a pirate hat. And the pirate hat is... Not good at all.
Oh, there was a chest up here. I didn't know there was a chest up there. Let's see, the wrong one, and I would go back over here into an area which we couldn't get to in the first in the first part of the game. By the way, New Game Plus does allow you to actually have the high jump early in the game. And that's the second warp point. Well, the warp point there. And this is where you can get the cow. A new uh, gun. And now that's the galleon. Fully explored. See, I guess I could uh, finish up Antibio here and see if we can also finish up the entrance. Oh, it's better get some waystones because I know I'm going to be needing those. I also need to t put the. There we go, that's better. Forgot to uh, turn the volume back up. Yeah, because, uh, the now one thing is going to be very apparent is that um, when I backtrack to certain areas within the Metrobanian, it's going to be to specific areas. So... Keep pressing the wrong button. Oh, you can also see that there is a percentage thing there. Yeah. Also, um, accelerate. It is possible to get accelerate on your first try game. However, it is m better to get it after you uh, managed to beat Alucard. And now we can't do anything because we need to have what's known as the Aegis Plate. A thing that we get around when the Tower of the Twin Dragons. Now most of what I'm doing here is just doing a little bit of backtracking and and of course they're obvious. Now, I'm not going to be doing sword farming here after I uh, do the obvious uh, graveyard quest. After I do the graveyard quest, I'm going to be doing some sword farming. And maybe get rid of this ridiculous stone mask on my face. I get more... There's a simian. More capacity. I always get to get the capacity upgrade.
If I could wonder like how long the game actually is. Uh, depending on how well you can, um, I guess they play the game. The game can be mm, relatively beaten in a day. eggs nope that's something I already had Got it. Come. I do have to act very fine equipment. You do have to actually hit one of these in order for it to uh, cross down here. No, uh, it's not this one. Oh! That's another sword! Optimizer. Increase weapon attack speed. And I'm going to immediately put that one on. Cake. And of course, if I would that give me the uh, chocolate cake that I ate. Nothing. Nothing more fine than chocolate cake. And this one I can easily get because, well, obvious. Boop, boop. There we go. Done. And we got another sword. It's kick. Oh, you guys think did I get that from the gargoyle? Did you get that from the gargoyle? If so, then that's good. I might have to get this thing from gargoyle. Got it. There's another one there. Copy this key. All right, that there. The copy this key is for an optional boss that, believe it or not, you can use to both well, a um, get the achievement for the for taking a large amount of blood, and b. He uses it to, of course, get achievements. Well, the, uh, techniques. <gasps> and is this where I'm gonna get to see Bloodless? Yes, it is. This is a returning enemy, believe it or not. You may recognize this one from the prequel. Now, it is supposedly supposed to be a prequel game. I need more blood. And yes, as you can tell, I Let's turned off the Japanese voice acting. You might recognize some of these.
Anyway, um, if you got any moves, spam them. You might hear a lot of death cries. Okay, so he didn't do it, but, okay, I think I may have negated that. Uh, what can happen? Now, there you go, blood steel. That's basically her gimmick. What can happen is basically seal essentially tr make, try to make you bleed, essentially. So essentially, uh, bloodless is basically dark metamorphosis. From Alucard, given form, essentially. But that's her gimmick. Uh, the second gimmick, as far as I know, this is one of two bosses that has two different phases. Where essentially, Seal essentially absorb all the blood that was apparently spilled around the arena. And, and essentially, give, pretty much make her pretty well a new form. And Seal even do some more unique... Um, Abilities, including pretty much what essentially is Blood Geyser. Where essentially it looks like, pretty much from the floor to the ceiling, a giant geyser, essentially. But Blood Steel is actually used to both, well, progress in the game and... And now we have the Wet Umbrella. And of course we can't, uh... Okay, I don't know what those things are. Yeah, there ain't like a, uh, lesson thing here, so I don't know what that is. And this would take me... Back to the Hall of Tom... The, uh, Deus Ex Libra. So we're not quite done here. Let's see... Apparently there's something that I missed going this way. Okay, so I do have the heretical grinder. Uh, is it in here? Yeah. Absorb blood from nearby enemies to restore your health. In order to actually utilize this... You have to, I think, use uh, something that actually makes them bleed. Essentially, anything that can make an enemy bleed. Blood like that. I'm supposed to be something here I missed. What I miss. Oh, well, thanks for the sword. Blood steel. And you can also look in the personal data and see where is it here. Our blood biome absorbed. I think you need like a like a good bit of amount of it, but I'm not certain of that. Uh, let's see what's in here. Where did this take me? Oh, I've turned me. Oh, Capacity upgrade. 
Ow. Blood steel! Take this! I'm going to be using Blood Seal quite a bit because I do want to get that achievement. Okay, another thing for the journal. And a save point. Now I do know there is also... Oh, I'm also gonna have to uh, do that 3-bit thing over and over again before I get it. Ultimate healing items. I really don't know what equates it. Gaze glasses. Wait, are those what I think they are? They are. That would be your enemy's health. Good. That means I know exactly how much health they have. Keep in mind, this is actually going to be very useful. Oh. Maybe wondering why exactly that is useful. That is useful for when we get into the Gabriel uh Jebel fight. The thing is, uh it can end one of two different ways. And again, I'm gonna keep using it until I um That'll be a good... I well, might have well pay a good visit over here and uh, see if I can uh, bank on some stuff. Blood steel. 
Go without to check my archive there. You want something like a thousand? Here's what good. Here's what Heavy cream. Have you learned? Here's what. Here's what I've. Helped. So, what'll it be? Dragon shoes. I'll go with this. 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 Yeah, there's a dumb Jewy. I'll go with this. The uh, I'll go with this. Beast killer. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. Right. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. A hair accessory inspired by demon horns. I guess I'll put that on. There, all done. That way, at least can get my uh, luck value up. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. And I'll go with this. I'll go with this. And let's have some chiffon cake. I'll go with this. This. I'll go with this. And strawberry cake. Mm -hmm. I'll go with this. Great. I'll go with this. Of course. I'll go with this. 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 I'm not really too concerned with uh losing any of my I'll go with this. Uh weapons here. I'll go with this. Because I can easily get them back. And they do count towards uh, item completion. Which, interesting this. enough, that's actually I'll one of the this. achievements in this I'll game. This. A real achievement to get. This. Yes, but it is possible to get it. I'll go with this. 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 If you ever <gasps> There we go Were they able to um, Capitalize on uh, one of these <laughs> Now then Let's see Hmm, the closer I can get to there would be... Hmm... Trying to look very carefully at everything here. I haven't done anything with the Tower of the Twin Dragons yet. Uh, and the closer I can get there with the Garden of Silence. So I think it might be a good idea to... Actually, no. I'm gonna actually show you something. 
Get that back up there just for a sec. Now. I'm gonna tell him so it's now. Now, you may be wondering why exactly am I actually going for devil now? Well, there is going to be a specific reason. This right here... There we go. And it's also where you can actually get some of the journal entries as well. MP, MP max up. Circle moon. Capacity. Legendary equipment. I'm gonna go back, uh, do a save real quick. Ah, crap, I've been poisoned. And there's a guy himself, Mr. IGA. I should have gotten a... Oh, oh, I do have a misdirect. Oh yeah, blood steel will not work here. Now the only thing is I like using Dust Cry for obvious reasons. Oh I got it! Which one? Was that uh the skull? That was the fire yep, that was the skull. This is actually, believe it or not, this is actually a secret boss. And keep in mind of one other thing, this boss is actually going to be actually very hard. And that was the epic ghost. Call for us an epic ghost. And there are four here that you may not end up getting on your first try. And say hello to the boss of this area. Yep. As far as I know, probably the one with the most... Okay, let's give it for just a minute but you listen to a nice little 8-bit rendition of the boss scene. I right, try to figure out what the heck that noise was I just heard.
Okay, I'm back, yeah. The, the noise that I heard was actually just granny. Dog, dog was pretty much underneath her feet. Anyway. See? The other thing is... Get in here, we attack, spam them. Yeah, you may not get it on your first try of those last two, but don't worry, you can always come back here. Now, as I said before, this is also one that you may or may not actually find on your first playthrough of the game. Oh, oh boy, I forgot, I need to uh, set it up to the that. Ow! Go! Blood steel! Oh! I overhealed. That's why it's not sewing up. Alright, I'm going to... I think I have to ask. Does it still count? Yes, it does. Long one. I'm gonna do a save here. And get one. And. Now, I don't have the weapon yet. But, what's gonna happen here essentially is that I'm going to do the battle and get a game over. I'll explain why. When it comes to it. What took you so long? Well, now that you've tasted the power of so many shards, I presume you're ready to join me. You presume wrongly. I'm here to keep my promise to you. And nothing else. What promise? You really have forgotten then. I swore to you that I would stop you if your Shardbinder power ever manifested itself against your will. You made the same oath to me. <gasps> Please! You think I wield this power unwillingly? I do. I've known it since our meeting on the Galleon. But there was a moment when I saw a flicker of the real Jebel beneath all that hate. Fool! I've heard enough! If you want to stop me, you'll have to do it by force. Next time, obey. As for him, uh, he's basically... He actually doesn't have a whole lot of health. If you heal, just do a bunch of things such as that. We know that there's a moon in the background. Blood steel. Blood steel. Blood steel. That actually comes into a portion. Blood steel. 
Now, you may notice, did you just see that moon turn red? We can't do anything with that as of yet. And... Forgive me, j -Pol. You... You... You did the right thing, Miriam. Now, I'm not gonna do anything yet. You may just notice that the moon there just turned red. There is a reason why that turned red. Thank you. Is it over? We did what we came here to do. We stopped Jebel. But the castle is still there. The demons... Yes, but Dominique and the church can take it from here. You think so? I have a bad feeling about all of this. What would you have us do? It's out of our hands now. Perhaps, but... Yep! It pulled that thing on me! It pulled an order of Ecclesia. Now, the reason why I say that... In order of Ecclesia, you will see, see what's known as Beelzebub's trapped in what seems to look like crystal. What you are essentially supposed to do in that game is find each of the Beelzebub's and free them. If you don't free all of them, what will happen is once you get Dominus Union, one of the most powerful uh, things in the game, which is a one shot kill to you and the enemy, which is also something you do need to utilize. In order to even beat the game anyway. What will essentially happen. Is that. You use it. The coffin was split in four. And you'll pretty much see. Serena essentially say. Why is it so cold? And then flop. To the ground. Then. Once he does. You see the screen fade to black. To two different, er to different areas. Where you see Beerus's. And then the game will, will say game over. I kind of freaked out when it happened. Like, what, g game over? What do you mean game over? I did what the game told me to do. And trust me, I freaked out on that right away. But that's just basically what will happen because you have no idea that you're supposed to do something else. Also, will the uh, personal data still be there? Yes, it is. Now, with that out of the way... We can now continue on our exploration of this, of this game. Go there because we need something called the Millionaire's Key. And trust me, on your first playthrough, you, you won't get this because your main objective is obvious. Let's go and uh, defeat Devil. Because you got no will indicating that to do anything else. And there's the final familiar. Bloodbringer. Now we got all the familiars.
I believe that's everything in the Hall of Termination, essentially. you're wondering, uh, basically, uh, it just means that basically you got a game over. Now that you everything I can do there. Now there was a room here that I couldn't get into. Yeah, because I need a uh, key of Celeste. And I suppose it might be a good idea to pay pay to a cool visit. Blood steel. Now it's open. We get Celeste's room. And we got a ghost. I have no idea what that's supposed to represent or anything like that. I got to ink. Soon I'll be able to have that done over with. It might be a good idea to... Head back here and uh... Got anything new? Here's what I nope. Let's pay a visit here. Hi Miri, what are we transmuting this time? I would like to make certain that I got at least something out of each one. I'll go 
with this. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. Go. I'll go with this. Ah. I'll go with this. Thought about it, I have to find this in alchemy. I'll go with this. 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 Ah. And there he is. This is basically the Kosegrum. I'll go with this. 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 And there it is. The strongest weapon in the game. The Eternal Blue. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. I'm okay certain that I get every single other weapon here. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. And there it's the us uh, ah the Australia. The best gun in the game. I'll go with this. 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 I'll and go now with I have this. the silver tiara, which means I can do more of the uh, quest line. I'll go with this. 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 I always do two this. in case uh, the quest line adds me for two of this. these. Adds me for three. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. Great. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. Great. I'll go with and this. for the last bit of it, I'll show you me enhancing my stars and doing a save. I'll go with this. 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 You know. Shard research has advanced during the ten years you slept. How so? By using alchemy to add new matter to the shards, we can change their properties. They evolve. For example, an offensive shard's range may widen or reach targets further away. Ah, so they'll become easier to use. To put it more simply, yes. But I should make special mention of enchantment shards. They require a large number of materials to transmute. 
but they function similarly to skill shards. In other words, they work even when you don't have them equipped. That is quite an advancement. Basically, he just pretty much told about essentially uh, what happens when you put pretty much skill sword in the passive swords. And I'm pretty much gonna pre well be calling the episode here. Uh, in the meantime, off camera, I'm gonna be doing some well, well, a little bit of uh, some. I guess it's say stuff off camera, such as doing a few of the quest lines here and there, and that's roughly about it. As you can pretty much already can tell, there's quite a bit left for me to do, and. I still have the Tower of the Twin Dragons to explore. There, once I explore that, then I can get the Silver Bromide and advance on with the story. And get, well, or right there, I'll be able to at least be able to advance through the story and get, uh, one of, I guess you could say, one of two items that I will need in order for me to progress throughout the game and get to the true ending of the game. Regardless though, thanks for watching my playthrough here of Bloodstained Witcher of the Night. Subscribe if you want to check out other videos I've done in the past or to stay tuned for future videos on the channel. Comment down below what you thought of this game so far or if you have a game you want me to check out on the channel be sure to let me know down below. Until next time. Stay 20% cooler, and I'll see you in the next video, my friends. Bye-bye.